Hi there. Happy Friday. It is a good, good day. It is almost the weekend. Super exciting. And I am flipping to the story that we will be reading and continuing on with. Okay, so the last two days you've been reading The Secret School by Avi. So let's review what you read yesterday. We have our teacher. Do you remember her name? I can't find her. There she is. Okay. Ida is our teacher, but she's really in the eighth grade. And somebody showed up to the school while she was teaching one day, and she didn't know it was going to happen. But Miss Sedgwick from the education department came to ask how many students in the class were going to be taking the eighth grade tests. And Ida had to tell her that she was actually in eighth grade because she needed to take the tests. Okay, so Miss Sedgwick didn't get mad at her, but she said that she had to find out if Ida could keep teaching. So let's find out to see what happens next. We are on chapter 10. All right. As the weeks passed and they did not hear from the education office, the students put Mrs. Sedgwick's visit out of their minds. Okay, so they tried to forget that she even came. No more Mrs. Sedgwick. Ida knew that not only did she and Tom need to pass their exit exams, all the students needed to do well. Ida had been neglecting her own schoolwork. That means that she was not doing her own schoolwork. She had been had very little time to work on her studies because of her chores at home and getting lessons ready for the other children. So Ida was teaching, but she wasn't doing her own schoolwork because she had to do chores at home and she also had to teach the other kids. Read with me. Ida was working hard. Hurrying through her chores, Ida spilled the milk in the mud. Pa knew she was rushing and trying to do too much. He reminded her that she could go to high school if the farm did well and they had enough money for her room and board in town. He asked her a question that startled her, that kind of made her surprised and she was caught off guard. How do you want to be treated? Like a kid or like a grown up? Sometimes we have to ask ourselves that question. Do we want to be acted like or treated like a kid and not be able to do things that we want? Or do we want to make our own decisions by behaving correctly and doing the right thing so that we don't have to ask permission for everything? So her dad's asking her the question, does she want to be treated like a kid or does she want to be treated like a grown up? Read with me. Ida was working hard. Ida and Felix were late to school that morning. Everyone except Herbert was already there. So Herbert was not at school again. Mr. Herbert, we don't know where you are. Someone had climbed into the window and opened the door. Ida cried when she saw an apple on her desk that Tom had brought for her. I think she was so happy that Tom had brought her an apple that she had cried. So now we're going to answer our questions. Flip to chapter 10 in your book. 
Number one, why was Ida falling behind in her homework? Was it because she stayed late at school every day? Or she had to do chores and grade papers too? And number two, what did Tom leave on the teacher's desk? What did Tom leave on Ida's desk? It made her cry. She was so happy. He left an apple or his math book. Circle which one you think. And before we finish, I just want to ask you two more questions. Who at the secret school was or wanted to be the teacher? Who is the new teacher at the school? Is it Felix or is it Ida? Point to the screen. Who is the new teacher? Felix or Ida? Ida, she's our new teacher. She is the new teacher at the school. And my next class question is, who did not show up for school? Who did not show up to school? Mr. Jordan or Herbert? Who did not show up to school? Herbert, he did not show up to school. He is not loving school, does not like Ida as a teacher, and he is not happy. Do you like school, Jaden? I really hope so. I guess I'll never know. I can't hear your answer. But anyway, I hope you have a good weekend, and I will see you on Monday.